Hello, happy Friday. It has been such a busy, it has been such a busy, busy day today. I thought I would pop on and just give a little bit of a real talk. If you are new, real talks are when I hop on um, and have kind of a couple things in mind that I wanna just level with you on. Um, and we don't really have a huge agenda. We're just kind of getting to know each other and chatting a little bit. I wanted to share with you what I'm having for lunch. This is my favorite takeout. It's called Freshie. It's here in Canada. I know it's in the States too. Um, and I get a very complicated order. I get the kale Caesar salad with no cheese, no Caesar salad, no Caesar salad, no Caesar dressing. I get the cilantro lime dressing instead and I sub cucumbers for the cheese. I also got chicken in there and this is my favorite takeout because it's so healthy and delicious. And that is my favorite salad dressing from theirs. It's so good. And I got some nice pretty flowers as well while I was out and about. But what I wanna talk about today is, today is a booty day, a booty Friday. And um, there's a lot that goes into shaping the booty that I think is exercise dominant. So the exercises that we are doing are super, super important. But what's also incredibly important is what we're eating and how we're nourishing our body. I know for me, I feel like I've gotten good results in um, my backside lately. Like I feel like I've made some gains there and that's because I've been eating more calories. I've been in a phase where instead of focusing on um, really trying to slim down and tighten up, I'm focusing on growth. I'm focusing on getting stronger. I'm doing the booty challenge and the total body challenge right now. So I'm eating to match my goals and my goals right now aren't necessarily abs or anything like that. That's not what I'm focusing on. I'm not focusing on slimming down or trying to lose inches or any of that. I'm focusing on actually reshaping my body and building muscles in the areas that I want to. For me, that's my butt and legs, and I always like to work the shoulders as well because I'm always showing you guys when our shoulders are more developed, it helps to balance out the rest of our body and make the um, waist look more trim and the hips, it balances out the hips. Same thing goes with your back. And um, I think a lot of us end up having a specific goal in mind, whether it be releasing weight or gaining muscle, and we forget that we need to be eating in line with our goals. So what I basically want to say, if you're looking when it comes to doing the booty challenge to work to lift the booty and tighten, you can do that while being in more of a caloric deficit. So really watching what you're eating, being more careful of your portions. You can still get that lifting and tightening. But if you're looking to gain curves, gain strength, gain muscle, you need to be eating in a surplus for your body to be able to be like, oh, okay, I'm not in that kind of starvation mode. I'm going to spend some energy on rebuilding these muscles bigger and stronger. A lot of times our workouts really don't change that much. Um, the biggest change should be in the kitchen and the foods that you're eating. So I just wanted to touch base with you on that because I think it's really, really important. We were also talking about cellulite this morning. Um, I know for me, when my calories are higher and when I'm eating more, I naturally have more cellulite, a little bit on the back of my thighs. But it doesn't bother me um, because I know that it's kind of, for me, it changes. So when my calories are higher, I usually enjoy my curves a little bit more, my feminine curves, but that does come with a little more cellulite. It comes with a little bit more um, fat on my stomach as well, but that's kind of the trade-off. And I think it's normal for our bodies to change. Like I don't look the same all the time. When I look back over the years at all the videos and posts and pictures that I've posted, I look different all the time. My body changes a lot. Right now, I'm 130 pounds. Uh, last year, around this time, I was probably about six, seven pounds lighter than that. But I don't really tend to stress out about it or worry about it because I know that my body changes and fluctuates. And I know that when I put my mind to it, I can see those changes that I'm after. Like I said, right now I'm in a build phase. Right now I'm enjoying having more calories and I'm enjoying having more curves. And I feel great the way I am right now. And I felt great when I was six or seven pounds lighter too. 
I do think the problem comes with fluctuation when you're getting in high, high ranges. When you're fluctuating 20 pounds and then dropping it really fast and then gaining it back, dropping it really fast. Whereas this, like a uh, uh, gaining a pound or two a month over a few months and then losing a pound or two a, a month over a few months is a healthy way that our bodies naturally cycle. You can't tell me back in the day, back in caveman days, everybody just weighed the same all the time. No, it was a lot of feast or famine, right? There was times when they were eating a lot more in a surplus and they hit the jackpot, they killed a big buffalo, they stumbled upon an amazing apple tree and they ate tons when they could, when it was available. Then their body used those stores when food wasn't as available. So I do think Sometimes getting stuck on, I have to be this number to be fit and healthy. I want to be 140 pounds. I want to be 120 pounds. Really, your weight doesn't matter so much. To me, um, what really matters is your health, your mental health, how you're taking care of yourself, how you're speaking to yourself. Those are all things that really, really matter to me. And I believe true health is when you have it going on in your brain as well. When I look back when I was in my early 20s and I was a personal trainer, I was teaching 20 classes a week. Um, I was doing ex extra workouts on top of all of that. I was like going, going, going crazy. And I remember I still wasn't even happy with my body then. And I, and I was getting 20 hours of exercise a week. Like that's crazy. Like instead now I feel much more happy that I'm taking care of my body and maybe getting four hours of exercise a week, five maybe. Um, four to five hours of exercise a week and that's because I love it and it makes me feel good and I love to feel strong. So um, here's a couple tips when it comes to shaping the booty. Number one, do it in a way that you love. If you love lifting heavy ass weights, girl, you go do that. If you love home workouts that are approachable and don't take anything, that's great. If you want to use the resistance band, amazing. The total body challenge would be a great fit. Find something you love that is gonna help you to reach your goals. Number two, have more of a reason than just, I want my butt to look good. A couple of reasons could be when I have really strong legs, I, I feel really empowered. Or when I strengthen my, my butt, I find my lower back doesn't bother me as often, or my knees. Like finding other reasons as to why you want to reach a specific goal. Three, take a look at your nutrition and make sure it aligns with your goals. Um, try and surround your workouts with carbohydrates. So when you are going to have your carbs, you're going to have it mostly around your workout because your body's going to be like, yes, give me those carbs. I'm going to use them for fuel, right? So pay attention to your diet. And then finally, come at it from a place of self-love. Thank you, body. I love you. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for allowing me to move throughout this world because that's all our body is, is a vessel. All of this that we all see, it's, it's just a means to help us get around. Like my face, rather than saying, I hate my nose or I hate this or that, it's just how I get to communicate with you. We so often forget that the outside stuff really is just the outside stuff. And none of that matters if you're not happy, if you're not healthy, if you don't have a positive state of mind, if you don't have your mental health, none of the outside stuff matters anyways. So come at your fitness, wellness from a holistic state of mind that is one that is going to support you for life because we're all getting older. We're all going to change. We're all going through our own struggles and there's no sense being hard on yourself or being angry at your body. You know, love your body and it will in return give you everything you need. So that is all I have to say today. I'm going to go after my salad because I am so, so hungry. <laughs> And I hope you enjoyed this real talk. If you did, please give it a like and a share. And we'll see you again soon. Big hugs. Lots of love. Bye-bye.